coming to see the group. Third day. Third day and 10th Avenue North. And last but not least. Oh. The other group. <laughs> Third day and 10th Avenue North seems to be the ones that are going to be uh, the, the prime positions here tonight. What we're going to do. Trevor Morgan. Sorry, Trevor, if you're looking, it is not. <laughs> Trevor, it's nothing bad against you, Trevor. We're sorry. But you're on the map now, Trevor, so we're going to definitely look out for you. I have here, I'm sorry, can you give your name, please, again? Reva Stevens and her husband. For you. Reva, can you tell me when you were born? September 25th, 1972. And yourself, sir? James. January 3rd, 19... Oh, a young guy, huh? Okay. <laughs> Get him young and train him well, huh? <laughs> That's great. Now, here's a more important question. Can you tell me when you... Exactly, but tell me how you felt. Tell me what, what changed in your life. What did you know? That's all right there. Was it, was it a rough road for you? But does it really matter how rough it is? No, it, it, it's worth it. is worth it, am I right? Yeah, definitely, me. definitely. And, sir, tell me about you. You can step over here just a little bit. 1986. What was going on at that time? Part of the RAs, Royal Ambassadors. Um, it's kind of like the Boy Scouts, but the Christian version of it. Okay. Um, and then I actually left the church scene for a while and rededicated my life uh, about four years ago, five years ago. Excellent. How's it feel? Was it Get out and thing when you're so used to doing the wrong. Yeah. Now tell me, maybe we can relate. When I went, when, when I was born again, I had a whole lot more challenges, or at least maybe my eyes are opened up more to the challenges. That the, that the devil was bringing to me. Right. Did that happen to you? Oh, yeah. Right. But it's hard when they've seen you do the, when they've seen you sin, when they've seen you do the bad things that you used to do, and all of a sudden now you're saying, God's got a better calling for me, and I'm going to rise to that occasion. Sometimes they don't want to go with that. Sometimes they want to pull you and say, remember when we used to go out and party? Remember all the good times we used right. to have? You can't do that being a Christian. Yeah. That's boring. Wait till you get older, right? It's not boring. It's not. It's, 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 say it again. It's not boring. It's not it's boring. exciting. Is this concert going to be exciting? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> it looks like we, have, we, we look like we have some other people here as well. But I want you guys, I appreciate you talking to me. I might come back and speak to you a little bit more as, as ideas and things pop into my head. Again, the purpose of it, this is Jack Stream Live. Our mission, our purpose is to let the world see that as Christians, we can have a good time. As Christians, we can do the right thing. We can set the right example and still have a fun, fulfilled life. Make sense? All right. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Please don't go far because I like talking to you guys. But guess who I have here? What's your name, young lady? Alyssa Westbrook, look right there, Alyssa. Wave at the world, Alyssa. You are being broadcast live on the web. Do you know that people in anywhere in the world that log onto our website, anywhere in Russia, in China, in France, in Germany, in South America, anywhere, can watch us right now? How does it feel? It feels good. It feels good? Good. Now, what would you like to say to all the young kids out there that might be struggling with following Christ? Just believe in follow forward your dreams and just don't give up and eventually God will be there and he's always going to be there in your hearts so just never give up from the mouth of a babe now tell me something when were you born I was born August 7th 1999 look right there and tell him one more time August 7th 1999 and when were you born again do you know that around two years ago around two years ago what was going on two years ago I was on a cruise and mm -hmm. This one um, guy that we think we knew, mm -hmm. um, he, he, 
Yeah, he was one of the Christian groups, mm -hmm. and he was playing basketball and chewing gum, and he uh, choked on his gum, and he uh, died. Oh, wow. I'm sorry to hear that. And then we just went and started going to church and praying. Because it made you think you never know. Never know. And what should, that brings me a question I want to ask you, Mom. What's your name? I'm the grandmother. You're the grandmother. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry, but hi, Grandma. What's your name? My name is Joyce Meeker. Joyce Meeker, do you think those people saw you when you say that? Say it again. I know they did. I know they did. That's Joyce Meeker. Hey, Joyce Meeker, can you tell me the same thing? Give me an idea when you're born. You might not want to tell me exactly when, but I... I was born in May 1954. May 1954. Beautiful month. Beautiful month. The trumpet sounded. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, now tell me, when were you born again? I was born again in uh, 1981. 1981. What was going on with your life in 1981? Um, I had my first and only daughter. Your first and only daughter? Mm -hmm. Mom. No. Her mom. Her mom. Yes, her mom. Her mom. Okay, okay. Mom. And so what happened? What, what was the big deal about why did you need to be saved because you had a daughter? When she was baptized, I opened my eyes and realized I needed to go. I needed to be saved. I needed to be born again. And how's your walk been? Has it been a rough walk? It's been a walk. Yeah? Rough, rough walk, but... But the reward is, it. yeah, the reward is worth it. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth now, I have a question. Can you guys come back around real quick? I, this, is, this is for the whole world. And this young lady said something very powerful. She said when she was born again, she was on a cruise, and one of the, the leaders there had some gum or something, choked and died. And that kind of opened her eyes to it. And that brings us to our next question. The Bible says that we know not the day nor the hour when he'll return. We know not when we're going to be taken away. Now tell me, what do you think about this, this, this stuff that's going on where the world's going to end in the next week or so? What do you think about that? Any opinions on that? Well, I mean, the Bible specifically says that no man will know the hour or the day. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, I'm leaving that in God's hands. I'm also leaving my life in God's hands. So if it is Saturday, then you know what? Hallelujah, here comes heaven. So you don't have anything to worry about when you know where you're going, right? Well, the only thing I worry <laughs> about is those of my friends and family who aren't ready, and I'm really worried about them. Yeah. And that scares me a lot. Do they believe that the world's going to end on Saturday? No one I know does. No one you know? Okay. What about you, sir? What do you think about it? Um, I don't know. No opinion just yet? Not really. I don't think it's going to happen on you Saturday. You don't think it's going to happen? That's my personal opinion. It could happen tonight. It could happen tonight. Yeah, because I was thinking... My car knows due pretty soon. If, if, if I'm not going to be around, <laughs> why even pay that, right? You know, I got some, I have some homework. I got some grading papers I have. Do I need to worry about that? But we know the world's not going to end, don't we? Oh, what do you think? Has anybody ever come to you and said that recently, that the world's going to end on Saturday? No, but I know I'm ready. You know you're ready? So no worries. Well, a little worry because, um, not really because I am going to be, I am in God's hands. Mm -hmm. But think of I'm not going to grow up and experience a lot of things that a kid should mm -hmm. um, that just it's not bad but I just wish I was still alive and and got to experience more things ah, but do you think that you can experience everything that God wants you to experience in heaven Yes. so you really won't be losing out on anything no. what about you ma'am We'll all be in a better place. Uh, not all of us. Yeah. Not all of us. Well, us right here. Oh, okay. Us right yes, here. yes. We will be. But the heart, my heart does go out to the people that don't believe. Because exactly. you, you sit and think like, wow, why couldn't you just? Why don't you just try? So what does that mean we have to do as Christians? And what does God ask us to do? What does our walk tell us to do? Maybe come out and do some things like this, maybe? Yeah. Maybe speak to some people. Maybe some folk are going to turn us away and we'll get on some people's nerves. But... <laughs> we do but try set the example as you say you're walking i'm walking i'm messing up i'm yeah, repenting i'm praying i'm trying yeah. and we have to set the big example do you know young lady that kids look up to you yeah. yes and do you know that because you say that you are a christian because you put that in your heart the devil is going to work extra hard to try and find a way to have you do wrong so everybody else can say look at her she claims she's a christian that christianity is fake do you know that's going to be a little rough on you? Yes, but I am going to work through it. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. You heard it here. This is Frederick Wilson. We're at jackslivestream.com. We're here outside again at Jacksonville Veterans Memorial Arena. And we're waiting for the group of people to come to see <laughs> this concert. 
We have a few more over here. Looks like uh, Mr. Nichols is getting them ready to come talk to me. But if you guys have anything else you want to say, anybody in the world, any any Christians, anybody even thinking about Christianity, because especially in other places around the world, you know we're getting attacked on the fronts by Islam, by all these other other religions are saying that our God is not the true God. Islam said that Jesus was was a prophet, but he didn't do all these things. He was not the Messiah. He was just a prophet. Oh, uh, duh. Uh, Judaism said the same thing. Messianic Jew, but most Jews say it's not. He's not. He's not God. And we waiting. The Comforter is still coming, but the Comforter Jesus was not was talking about was not him. What would you say to somebody out there that's kind of teetering on Christianity and not really sure? Well, I've lived both sides of the fence, and mm -hmm. I can tell you on the opposite side that I'm on now, I was never comfortable, and God was always pulling on me, and I always felt Him. So the only true reality I've ever had is that there is a God and that he is very real and that he loves me and all of us very much and uh, he doesn't want any of us to end up in hell he doesn't want us not ready on Saturday or whatever day <laughs> that he actually is going right. to come so you know just remember God loves you very much all of you not just me not just them but every one of you out there all right anything just keep your eye on the cross and stay in the word Yes, sir. Anything you want to say to anybody? Any, how old are you now, young lady? I'm 11. 11. What would you say to an 11-year-old that's saying, I don't know if I believe in Christ? Why would I want to believe in Christ? Well, because he loves you. And my personal belief is that he's, he's the one who created all of this. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say, never give up. Always believe. No, don't listen to anybody that wants to push you down about what you believe in. Mm -hmm. um, just keep believing, keep um, praying, and eventually you will you will start to believe. This is uh, very smart. Do we need to make more of you? Maybe clone you or something. I don't believe in cloning, but something like that. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Now tell me, what would you say to someone that's teetering on Christianity? Believe. Believe. All right. Don't give up. Thank you. You heard it here. This is Frederick Wilson with Jack's live stream. Thank, Thank you. Yes, sir. The good news and bad news. Okay, the good, the good news. news that we're here. Uh -huh. The bad news is the concert has been moved. Wow. The concert has been moved to the Florida Times Union Theater. So if you're watching this and you're headed that way or you know anybody, call them, tweet them, Facebook them. No way. It's at 300 Water Street right next to the Jacksonville Landing. So be on your way. No we're not going to have anybody else to interview tonight. So thank you for being here, and we appreciate it. Jack's Livestream TV, and appreciate that. All right. Nice to meet you. I have no idea how to get there. None, none, none. I cannot believe this. When did they decide that? Yeah, really. Oh my God! You've got to be kidding me. <laughs>